Dr. Zakir, you mentioned a verse just now. Can we just ask you the significance of that verse? Eat and drink until the white thread of dawn appears distinct from the black thread. When this verse was revealed for the first time, Surah Baqarah chapter number 2, verse number 187, it said that eat and drink till the white thread you can differentiate from the black thread. The moment this verse was revealed, the Sahabas understood the meaning as the verse was revealed. And it's mentioned in Say al-Bukhari, volume number 6, hadith number 4509, that one Sahaba, the moment he heard this verse, he took two hair strings, one black and one white, and he kept it beneath his pillow. And when he got up for Suhuri, he tried to differentiate between the white string from the black string, and he could not really understand, so he went to the Prophet and asked him, what does it mean? And another hadith that's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 6, hadith number 4510, where it says that one Sahaba, he took two threads, one black thread and one white thread. And he tied it in his toes, in the legs. And he kept on eating until he can differentiate between these two threads. But when they went to the Prophet and asked, what does it mean that until you can differentiate the white thread from the black thread. Then the Prophet made them understand. What it actually means is, until you can differentiate the white thread of dawn, that means the light of dawn, from the black thread of night. And then the verse was revealed incomplete. And the word of dawn was revealed later on. First the verse was, until you can differentiate the white thread from the black thread. Then Allah reveals in between, white thread of dawn. So the complete verse then is revealed. So then it was made clear. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad he explained the meaning of two Fajr. And he said that the first Fajr is known as the false Fajr, where you see a vertical white streak of light, which is somewhat similar to the tail of a fox. But that is known as the false Fajr. And the second Fajr, which is the true Fajr, is when the redness of light it spreads horizontally in the sky, which you can see it in the mountains and which reaches the houses and the streets. So that is the true Fajr, that is the break of dawn, when a person should stop eating at that time. And this is clarified further in the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad It's mentioned in a Sahih hadith of Al-Bayaki, hadith number 8003, where the Prophet said, the first Fajr does not prohibit you from eating the food and it does not make the Fajr prayer lawful. And the second Fajr, that is the true Fajr, it makes the eating of food prohibited and it makes the Fajr Salah lawful. So we made the differentiation between the two types of Fajr. And further it's mentioned in the Hadith of Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number 2, in the Book of Fasting, Hadith number 2348, where the Prophet said, Let the people continue eating and drinking and should not stop when they see the white vertical light and they should keep on eating until they see the horizontal redness of Fajr. That is the true Fajr. And it's further mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 2, in the Book of Fasting, Hadith number 2407 and 2408. Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She said that, let not the call of Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him, and the whiteness of the first Fajr, deceive the people and let them not stop eating. That means they can continue eating. And there's another hadith which says that let not the call of Hazrat Bilal deceive you. Continue eating until you hear the call of Ummi Maktoum. So this actually is the complete meaning of the Quranic verse that you can eat until the white thread of dawn becomes distinct from the black thread of night.